Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Brew and Build. Today we are back here in the new area that we just started and we're going to be building here again today. I have quite a few plans that I would like to get started on today. Uh, last episode we built what you see is in front of me and now you may be seeing it and thinking what in the world is that doesn't make any sense it just looks like a big old wall and well currently it is just a big old wall but we made a concept piece to showcase i made a concept piece to showcase kind of the whole entire picture i have for this area and i am one very happy that that went over super well. All of you seem to really enjoy being able to see kind of what's in my brain. And so that actually is awesome. And so I'm really happy that you liked that because it's really hard sometimes as a creator and a mi like Minecraft YouTuber who has people that are interested in what like you're building, but you don't know how to describe it exactly. Like imagine me trying to describe that picture in enough detail that you would actually know what's going on uh, for any of you who didn't see it uh, definitely check out last episode because it will give you full context as to what in the world this project is how big it is it's going to be the biggest project we have ever tackled on this channel and that is including the steampunk city which is not even remotely close to being done um, but this is a really cool one nonetheless, and I'm really excited. As you can see, much landscaping is going to be done. These are cliff sides, um, and so these small bits, not uh, why well, I say small. In the grand scheme of things, they are small, but the bits that are very plain on the sides are going to be gigantic waterfalls. And uh, this side right here is just kind of this middle rock portion, land portion that is blocking the water from flowing down the middle and so it is splitting it into these two massive streams so the land is going to essentially be from there and kind of like at a diagonal line um, all the way across to over there and so this is all going to be water over here this is all going to be filled in water we're going to probably have to chop down a lot of these trees because there's going to be a massive almost like a river type of thing going on here uh, and we are actually going to be tackling that today. Not all of it. No, not all of it at all. Um, we're going to be tackling the outlining and then the initial the sort of like riverbed design. Um, and so I need to gather some resources for that. Um, but I also want to lay out what we're doing for this episode. So as I said, we're going to be doing the riverbed portion uh, that is just like right here. And as you can see, I have dropped this down to being right here. Um, so right now this is not that tall it isn't going to be blocking a ton of water um, and I have it so that this cliff portion is right flat here uh, and this is extending up by three or so blocks. This is eventually probably going to dip down further uh, especially here in the middle it's probably going to dip down further because the as most riverbeds like it, they get deeper in the center and then kind of they're like a little arch. Um, that is essentially what this entire thing is going to be. It's just going to be a, it's not going to be ridiculously deep. Um, this is going to be relatively shallow on the sides, and then it's going to get pretty daggum deep. Um, and so this is actually going to be relatively steep. Uh, it'll kind of fade down into the water. Um, but the goal, I think, is to have the water line be right at this level. Uh, and so this may not look that tall right now, but eventually it will be tall because you'll be able to see it go further down into the water. Um, but right now it's not not anything too crazy. Now, that's not all that I want to do today. What I would also like to get into is starting to lay out where the town and where the sort of castle keep is going to be. Uh, the town that is going to be above this area here is all, it's all going to be on that side of the river. So it's going to all stretch over there. So essentially what I'm thinking, at least right now, the castle keep manor thing is going to start roughly... I mean, it'll probably start around where that pillar is. I think that's kind of the marker. Uh, and it's going to be essentially like 
that big. It's going to be like a giant pillar. Think Sarthal as a good reference point for it, uh, but I am going to be going a bit bigger. So the base of this is probably going to extend down further into the actual uh, river area, or it's going to extend further, and it may actually start like right here. Not really sure, but I don't, I don't know. I'll need to kind of re rethink what this side looks like um, for the river. But the town is also going to be on this side here. It's I'm essentially I think what I'm going to do is basically cut this like a strip right here between this water and this water. This is going to be kind of the line of where the town starts and stops. And it's going to kind of arch around and it would go. Oh, it'll probably go. If we can kind of get around up onto this tree. I'm thinking it's going to go clear around here and it may extend further it's going to be a relatively decent sized town um, and so i just i honestly don't know <laughs> i don't know how big it's going to be um, the landscape itself is going to be quite massive as you can imagine this is that waterfall is 42 blocks tall or long like diagonally this one is 42 as well this is also probably 42 maybe even longer so all in all it's like 120 blocks uh, so the town needs to be pretty decent or else it's going to be really, really tiny compared to this area. Um, and the town is going to be similar to this, where it's going to be up on a plateau that is above the water. It's going to be a little bit taller than this. This is a little low. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's going to overall, I think this is going to be a really, really fun project to do. Really excited to get into it. Uh, but that's what the plan is today. Our primary thing is going to be doing the riverbed kind of figuring that out i want to figure out what textures i want to use i definitely want to use the gravel and i definitely want to use mm, some brown terracotta i think uh and then sand and then and dirt and stuff of course um but i want to figure out that mixture because i we're getting not going to be like making the river and filling it as we go necessarily what we're going to be essentially doing is We'll be doing, I guess, that, but in large chunks. So I'd like to get kind of the town planned out, and then that entire area between the town and the land mass that's going to be on that side, plan, like I want to plan that out as well as to where I think the land's going to go so I know exactly how wide this is going to be. Um, and then we can start making the riverbed, which is going to be interesting because we're going to have to figure out, this is kind of the middle point here. We're going to have to figure out how deep it's going to go and I'm I'm almost envisioning it goes just down to like that level right there. Not sure how far down that is. Let's see. So we're at 118 right now, but let's see here. Let's see how how far down this is 113 on this level. So if we come down onto this tree, let's see how far down this is. 97. So 16 blocks, if I'm correct. 16 blocks is that deep enough mm, it might be deep enough honestly if not we'll go, go down to maybe this level i think this would be probably as the lowest that we would want to go for the river portion um if we need to go lower we can but uh, i don't think it's necessary yeah we'll probably just stick with that level i think that's a good level to go to but to do all this planning and to do all this stuff that we want to do today i need to go and do some resource gathering so I have not done any work on here because this is literally the day after I finished recording and uploading everything for yesterday's video. Um, and so I need to go and I need to dig some dirt. I need to dig some gravel. I need to dig some sand and I need to dig some, uh, I think, grass and terracotta. I need to mine some terracotta. Um, and so I have a goal here and I'm going to say it out loud so that I am held accountable. And if not, I can at least be disappointed in myself. Um, I want to get 12 double chests of everything all before we start in on this project. Now, if I don't actually, if I start running out of time, of course, I'm going to be prioritizing the building of this. We just won't be able to get as much done. Um, but what I found with this, the reason why I took to the prepping with all the stone and cobblestone and all that stuff is it made this build so much easier. I mean, I had all the stone I needed. I had all the cobblestone. I have all the gravel that I would need for these like little decoration bits. Um, made this process so much easier having everything prepped and ready. I mean, you would think that that's just logic, but, but, but it is really crazy how being that prepared can actually affect how you build and kind of your mood towards building. Like I'm super pumped 
to build in this area because I know I can do all the planning with stone because I have a butt ton of stone. But I want to be able to do more planning and actually get somewhere with the riverbed. And so, oh goodness, we are out of rockets. And so that is not good because I can't get back up there. Well, while I fix this conundrum, well, let's go take a look at textures while I go and dig some stuff up to get more resources. I've got a few new textures and I'm also saying this out loud so that future me is a held accountable for making the dang textures. I've got a few flowers I have in mind to make. So let's go ahead and take a look at that and then I'll be back, hopefully, with a lot of resources. All right, we're here in uh, the texture pack sort of showcase world that I have made and I actually need to go through and update some of this stuff. Um, we're just looking at a few textures. I've got my sort of plant life exhibit over here. This is all the different plants that I want to update for this next uh, texture pack update. And it's coming along pretty nicely, I gotta say. Uh, a couple textures to look at today. So firstly, we looked at the dandelions and poppies, I think last episode, and uh, I am uh, happy with those. I think they look pretty dang good. Uh, the blue orchid I have changed and I went with a little bit of a different look because I looked up images of blue orchids online. Usually I like to look up the actual flower to try and pull something from an image rather than just from my butt. And uh, so I saw a lot of blue orchids actually can have this sort of purple fade from blue to purple, uh, almost even to a magenta. And I really liked that. So I experimented around and tried out making that sort of in Minecraft. And of course, it is very limited with the textures and all that stuff. Um, so wasn't able to like make it perfectly, but I think it looks pretty decent. So there are multiple variations, as you can see, with different heights and stuff. Um, and yeah, very happy with this. So I think this is a, a pretty good addition to the texture pack. But if you don't like it, uh, let me know. This little booger has taken me forever to make. And uh, so I was watching a Drathmorg uh, stream on Twitch. If you've not followed Drathmorg or watched him, definitely check him out. He is a great, great content creator over on Twitch. He also has just started a YouTube channel um, and has currently he just has one video on there, but it's a pretty it's a, a funny, funny slash very relevant to Minecraft video uh, and the struggles of a certain block that will not be named and uh, he and I sometimes talk about texture pack stuff uh, actually we talk a decent amount of texture pack stuff um, and during his streams and uh, one flower I was I had said that I was working on was the allium trying to figure it out and I looked up an image of an allium in real life and holy they are big flowers uh, and I had mentioned that and he had uh, similar he and I both, I think, we essentially were like on the same page when it came to the allium of one wishing that it was able to be a too tall sort of plant. Um, and so I have kind of, I spent pretty much an entire day figuring out how in the world to make it work. Um, and finally, finally, finally got it to work. And it's not even because I actually figured it out. It's thanks to another texture pack that did it, that, that did it with wheat that I was able to figure it out. And it wasn't, I know Jeremy Boy and Flip had done it, but I, I, for some reason, couldn't get their stuff to work on this particular block. So there are multiple different variations to it. There is the single tall uh, allium texture that is the, this is Minecraft. I think the color has changed a bit, but this is the Minecraft texture. Um, it basically like the main flower and then I added in bunches of them that are you can see this one is breaking into the too tall space but is not quite there and then this one has four little alliums this one has some more and then they do get quite tall um, and I think this is a nice addition and a fun change and it makes the pack a bit unique and I, I, I like it I think it looks good some other stuff I've been doing just occasionally is throwing in a painting or two of screenshots from our world that I think are make for a nice painting. It would be fun to hang up in our builds. Um, so we've got the lighthouse over at the steampunk uh, netherport city. And then we have Sarthal here as a landscape picture. I really do like it. I think it looks pretty good. This is a old uh, Jersey boy texture. I think that uh, essentially when transparency was a thing, 
um, made it so that you could just hang a rack of pots and pans and knives and stuff on the wall in a kitchen. And I like the idea, but transparency didn't work. And so, and I know there's a mod that puts it, makes it so you, that you can have transparency on paintings. I didn't want y'all to have to download a mod to be able to play with the texture pack. So I have am working out these different textures without transparency. And overall, I think it's working out pretty decently. Essentially, I threw a stone backing on it, um, almost like it's a attachment to the wall. And I think that looks pretty decent. And so we've got knives, a rolling pin. And uh, one thing I also did was uh, the original texture, I was, I believe, was 32 by 64, uh, just to be able to get a little bit more detail in. I have changed it to being 16 by 32, so it is regular Minecraft texture resolution. Um, and so, yeah, I think that's pretty good. I also have made this uh, sort of, uh, this is the old FWIP texture. And I, that you can see this one is uh, a 32 by 32 because of the way it is and the pixels. <laughs> um, and so I made a horizontal version and uh, also made it look more like it's a cork board with papers on it. Now, of course, you don't get as much of a good feel for it being papers because it is lower resolution, but I think the job is done with it and that you do get a good understanding of it. So that's all the painting textures that I've really messed with. I'm not going to be doing a ton all the time. Uh, I And these are just going to be thrown intermittently into whatever various update we're working on. So these ones will be a part of this update and any other ones that I manage to throw in. But I'm not doing like a painting update because I don't use paintings too much. And so it's just going to be kind of like willy nilly that I'm working on these. And then the last textures that I've worked on are grass. And uh, I pulled this idea from Drath Morg's texture pack. Uh, he throws in some little color bits onto his grass uh, to just add a little bit more life. Uh, so I've only experimented with a couple of yellow variations. Um, there are currently, I think, like eight variations in right now. I would like to get around 40 um, just to have a whole lot of interesting grass because it's not that hard to make grass textures. It's a little weird because you have to work in grayscale. Um, but I do want to add in occasional little color pops every now and again to act as of, uh, in my understanding of it and the way I interpret it is it's like little, like maybe these are little dandelions that are too tiny to really like warrant an actual full on flower. Um, but you want to have a little color splash in there or having one is not like that big of a deal and you can add a little bit of life. So I'm going to add in just a few different little little things here and there just to add a pop every now and again and so that is all the textures that i have currently i am going to be working pr focusing on these flowers uh next and the dead bush um to be able to make some interesting variations some are going to change significantly some are not um but i am looking forward to it i've been having a lot of fun oh and also the gravel texture is fixed now there are variations in it um, and so the tiling issue should not be a problem anymore. Um, and yeah, so hopefully that's fixed for y'all. Uh, I've been using it pretty effectively in this video and, uh, it's working. I like it. I do like this texture and it also adds a little bit more gravelly feel to it because I made quite a few variations that have a lot more rockiness to them. So hopefully you guys enjoy those, but that is going to do it for the textures. Let's go ahead and jump back into the rest of the video. All right, guys, so good news and bad news. Good news is got a decent amount of work done um, over in the other area. Bad news is apparently I'm almost positive that the Windows update that went out completely destroyed my OBS settings and mainly just destroyed where my mic and uh, like game audio routing was going in OBS. So Nothing I recorded for the past three days has actually been, you know, uh, recorded uh, with audio. I uh, got the visuals, but don't got the audio. So what we are going to do is we are just going to going to take it <laughs> and uh, we are going to essentially I think what I'm going to do is just talk you through it. Um, but real quick. Take a look see here at this time lapse because we I made a time lapse just real briefly of 
it's essentially the beginning portions of where the waterfall is going to be uh, and sort of the, the riverbed connection to that. Uh, got some reworking I'm going to do on it, but why don't you go ahead and take a look at that quick time lapse and then I'll be back and we can just kind of talk through everything that I did that didn't get recorded. Well, I hope you enjoyed the time lapse, and hopefully this is all recording. I'm going to be so frustrated if it didn't record. Um, yeah, this episode is just going to be jank, and I'm sorry about that. It's OBS's fault, and slash, I think it's Windows' fault. But regardless, there's a lot that's been done today that just needed to be done, but I guess isn't going to be really in an episode, because... This is all going to be like a big time lapse of planning this area out and pl like planning this first portion out. Um, and you can see a giant plan laid out before you. So essentially what this is, is this is the beginning portion of this build that we're doing. Uh, the time lapse we just worked on is right down there. This small little area here and then some of the squiggles around here. Basically, this is supposed to just be an indication this is like an indication of how deep it's going to go um, going from the edge on down and I do need to probably rework it just a little bit um, but that's okay so let's just talk through this and essentially what the plan is so as if you remember the concept piece this whole entire section here is going to be the town um, so this section right here, this is the town area. Um, and then this is going to be sort of crop field area um, that is going to be uh, very close to the water. It's going to be much closer to water level. Um, this entire section here, this is like the, the I'll keep calling it the river, but it's not really a river. Um, it's a, the portion of the lake that does feed out into the waterfalls. Uh, and so this this is like this water level is right down at that level right there. And that is essentially the level that this ground area is going to be. Um, this section is going to be raised up on a plateau of sorts. Uh, and it's going to be multi-tiered. There's going to be multiple tiers to it. It's going to kind of all lead up to the castle, keep, manor, whatever this is going to be. Uh, that's what this chunk is. This is not going to all, like this entire circle speech bubble looking thing is not going to be all castle keep manor thing. Um, it, But it's going to be majority that. It's just, I mainly wanted to mark out kind of where the mountain is going to be and then be able to kind of work from there and build up because it's going to be big, but not like massive, massive. The diagonal line is going to be the marker for the bridge. Uh, I decided to go with just a pure diagonal because I figured that is a whole lot easier to work with in the long run. 
um, rather than trying our best to figure out like a nice angle to work with, like a nice patterned angle. Uh, and yeah, it just, yeah, I just w wanted to go with a regular diagonal because I think it's, it's probably going to be easier to work with. That little circle out there that is just going to be the marker for an island that is going to be pretty close to the farmland area um, and so there's going to be like a little bit of an island not going to be a perfect circle obviously that's just more of a marker for size reference um, and then this extends way out there uh, and let me turn my render distance down because i can't really fly around here with my render distance that high uh, and let me also sleep and also, if you hear grinding in the background, that's just Mavris. He got a new bone and he is going to town on it. Um, so this gives you a good perspective of like size compared to us. This is how big this area right here is. Uh, pretty spacious. I think it's going to be a pretty nice big space for us to work with for the ma manor keep. The town will take up this whole chunk right here. So not absolutely massive but des definitely a respectable size for a town and um, remember this is all going to be raised up and i do think i'm going to make an addition of the town over this way uh, because there is going to be waterfalls over here um, and so we're going to need to have i think a little bit more space to make the town fleshed out more and we can extend this area a little bit further as well um, and i think it's going to be overall i think it's going to be good here is a good look at the bridge, just how long it is. Quite a long bridge, if I do say so myself. Um, and that's going to be pretty cool. I think this is a nice, epic feeling bridge. Like, imagine seeing this arching into the sky. Uh, because it's going to be a very, it's going to be a nice arched bridge. And I, I just think it's going to be really, really fun. It's going to be a challenge to build, but I think it's going to be really fun. And then you can see just how deep this area is going to actually get to being. Um, it's not, I didn't want to make it like super deep. Like it doesn't need to be a super deep portion of the lake. It can be shallower. Um, the deeper portions are going to be actually like out there. Uh, it, it's going to get pretty, pretty deep. I think it's going to go down at like similar to what oceans in Minecraft go down to. I think that makes the most sense. Um, and so this is about the level that this main portion of the river all the way down to maybe where that island is will actually be getting down to. Um, and it gives us a good place to go off of. Now I just need to figure out how deep this is actually going to go. I actually like this line more where this bottom portion does pretty much flatten out here. Um, this bit right here I'm not so sure about. This is kind of a weird spot because I was going to plan on connecting this up with a slope. But now I'm considering doing this as a pretty steep drop off cliff thing um, that'll really sell the like this is what's splitting the water. I think that makes a little bit more sense. So probably not going to go with this. And so probably going to go with this wide of a like have the space on the bottom be like 15 blocks wide diagonally. I think that makes sense. And then you saw the time lapse portion of the video, hopefully, and that is this area. Um, the color palette pending. I don't think I'm actually going to go with this. I was just testing it out. Um, this is supposed to be I was pretty much playing with the idea of like the lower portions transitioning into a different texture um, or at least a different uh, integrating more textures to indicate how deep it is. Um, and I think what I'm actually going to do is throw most of these out. I'm going to throw out the wool and the green terracotta, and I'm going to transition it more into dirt and coarse dirt. I think that's going to make more sense and just be like a dirtier bottom. And then the gravel can kind of take over the muddy portion, muddy look. Um, I would use soul soil and soul sand, and I still may use it. Um, I just haven't, I don't have a lot of it right now. And so I was playing around with terracottas and eh, they work okay, but I don't think it's necessarily the best choice. All right, I had to get go f <laughs> get my uh, other elytra because it was dying. Um, and then this area does extend quite a ways down. So this is the whole lake portion over here. This is all going to be water. And then I've got a little marking area here for the beginnings of the lower portion of this back side slash this side of this lake. And so the uh, cliffs that are on this side are actually this line indicates where they begin. 
Um, so they're all going to be over all the way around. Essentially, what I want to do is just take this biome and wrap it um, with cliffs and then kind of go from there. And then this area is big enough, like it's far enough away and big enough that we can make like a small little town over here. Um, and then the Heroes Guild is going to have to go somewhere. I don't really know where. Maybe the Heroes Guild goes over here. It may make sense. Um, but there's going to essentially be a cliff line that is separating this out. So this is going to be the marker of where the cliffs begin that are holding this uh, the water in um, and kind of funneling it down to the waterfalls. Uh, and then these this cliff portion, obviously the bridge connects up to it, so it has to be a relatively wide, so it's probably going to be like 30 to 40 blocks wide, uh, which will take it to about over here. Um, and then this whole section over here is going to be on the opposite end of the cliffs, kind of wrapped around it. So you have to like walk around the cliffs to get anywhere. And then I think that is going to be make for an at least an interesting area. This whole section here can be like a outer town that is a, a smaller town or maybe this is where the Heroes Guild lies. I haven't really planned out the locations quite yet. I do. I need to. I need to kind of get a good idea. Um, but it's a little difficult because I can't get a full screenshot of how big this area is going to actually be. So I have to kind of work in pieces. So that's what I have right now. And then this is how big the uh, this island portion is going to be. It's actually quite big. Uh, you can tell it's like, like this is a pretty big island. Um, but yeah, so the farmlands right here, nice size. I essentially, I tried to oversize everything because eventually we're going to make mistakes. We're going to make like changes and stuff and so I wanted to make sure that we had plenty of room to go with um, and if anything if it starts feeling too big of course I always miss it uh, if it starts feeling too big then we can of course shrink it down and so I think it's better to go go big first and then if you need to you can shrink it and so yeah that is it's not all loaded in but that is uh, essentially what we did today and so sorry that you weren't able to be a part of the process and all that. And I'm sorry that not as much building got done as I wanted. Um, but it is what it is. Windows is just an awful thing sometimes and just totally changes settings. It doesn't need to, but you know, that is life. So I have it all fixed, hopefully. And uh, next episode will be much better unless Windows puts out another update and then absolutely kills the settings. But whatever that's fine and so yeah i'm sorry that you guys weren't able to be a part of the video make the making of all this it is what it is and i'm just i'm just moving on from it so so sorry i postponed the video to be able to do some of this planning because it took forever and uh, ended up that wasn't even necessary so yay always fun when that happens but yeah, let me know what you guys would like me to tackle in this build next. I'm going to be focusing on getting a, a good chunk of the river up to the bridge portion done uh, so that it can we can kind of start seeing where the river is going to be. Uh, and then I also would like to get some of the town planned out if we can get this town to show up. Getting some of the town worked out in the cliffs laid out as to like how big it, it's going to be. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's a, a good spot to start. Would you just load? Thank you. Uh, I think that's a good spot to start and start. I, the main thing is like plan, making it look obvious that this is a river chunk uh, where water is going to be, because right now it looks like it doesn't quite resemble that because there's not cliffs on either side. So I think that's where I wanted to start and I'm going to be starting until I hear from you guys. Uh, but definitely let me know. I think the town's a good place to start because we can always do landscaping and come back to the town and then do landscaping and come back to the town. So that's kind of my goal and my plan. Let me know what you think that about about it down below. Uh, and if you like the video, leave a like in real life and I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, bye bye. Hey,